Well, we're here at the um, State of the City in Murrieta, California. It's the 1st of March, 2012, and it's Yes, Murrieta is the theme. Bruce Coleman. Bruce Coleman. Obviously, Bruce Coleman. Bruce Coleman. We're at the State of the City with uh, Bruce Coleman, who's the uh, Business Development Manager for the City of Murrieta, California. How are you doing, Bruce? I'm doing great. We're very excited. This is a wonderful, well-turned-out well event today for the State of the City. You hear the Mayor talk about the vision and future for the City of Murrieta. A really great and exciting opportunity to, to, uh, to uh, showcase what we're working on here in Murrieta. We're doing uh, a lot, I know we're doing a lot in the technology field and a lot in the international as well. That, that's correct. We, uh, we're excited to announce that the City Council has just approved the establishment of a, a high technology business incubator in the uh, former City Hall space and we've got our first company moving in there uh, almost as we speak. It's a, uh, it's a technology company from San Diego which is a, uh, which is a, uh, which is a startup company. And in addition we're working very hard on the international investment. As I think you know we have our first EB5 investment under construction, which is overseas investment money. That is the, the really the only source of money these days for the growth of the American economy. And Myriad has hopped on this opportunity as a way to create jobs locally through new investment and alternative investment sources. Well, I, I know our proximity to San Diego and to Los Angeles puts us in a very good uh, physical per, uh, place, as well as uh, with, uh, with the surrounding businesses that, you know, that we can supply. Well, in fact, Murrieta has an ideal location. If you look at a map of Southern California, Murrieta is actually in the center of Southern California, midway between San Diego and the greater Los Angeles, Orange County, Southern California metropolis. So it's a very central location serving either direction. And it's a very unique opportunity where land is available, buildings are available, and a very, very pro-growth city government. Well, I'm glad to be here tonight with you, Bruce, and uh, looking forward to some more interviews later. And and uh, have a good time. Thank you very much, Andy. Thanks Always good to see you. Thank you. MBHS, this is their uh, robotics club. Pretty good. What's the official name of the club? Hmm? What's the official name of the club? Uh, NHRC, Nighthawks Robotics Club. Alright. Over here you got Team C, over here you got Team A, and over there you got Team B. Oh, and you compete against each other? Uh, yeah. Basically. So what do you say? You, you do what? Uh, we compete against uh, other teams in our club, but we also compete against robotics teams from around Southern California and from around the world. So when you mean compete, what is, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the goal or what, what is it that you're trying to do? Well, the uh, robots have mechanisms yeah. aimed at um, picking up these objects, these barrels and balls, and placing them in these PVC pipe holes. Ah, we okay. have a, a large field, square field, and we have two-on-two -two matches of two robots, two red robots versus two blue robots, right. attempting to score more points than the other robot. Ah, uh, okay. Is this, all, this is all timed, or...? Yeah, we have uh, 20 minutes of uh, the robot driving on its own using sensors um, and programs. Uh, that's what I do personally. And then we have two minutes of driver control. We use controllers to uh, get the robot to intake and outtake and score on the goals. Uh, Team 569 has won two tournaments thus far, so we qualified to compete against robots from all over the world. Championships, which are in Anaheim, California, this year. What do you win? Uh, if you win the tournament, I think it's um, mostly bragging rights. I think there's some other related things. But you can write that you were a world champion of X Robotics. Scholarship possibilities or things? Uh, yeah, there's some scholarship possibilities through X. Uh, and there's especially scholarship possibilities if you're going for uh, tech schools and things like that. And you're, with the, you're at Myriad Valley High School? Yeah, we're, we all operate at Myriad Valley High School. Yeah. Pretty neat stuff.
started working on downtown. being here tonight. As most of you probably know, there's no way the City of Marietta could put on an event like this without our wonderful sponsors. So I'm not going to go through the list of all of our sponsors. They're listed all around the room. They're also listed in the program, so I hope you take a minute to look at who our sponsors were for tonight. But I did want to take a second to thank Verizon. Verizon is our title sponsor for this event, and not only did they help us out with this event, but they come through with almost every community event that we have in the city of Marietta. Without them, we probably couldn't hold most of the events that we would like to. So at this time, I would like to welcome to the stage, Mr. Lowell Handy, who is the Director of Network Operations for Verizon Southern California Region. Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy, without Verizon's support, we could not do most of the things that we would like to do in Marietta for our community, and for that, we thank you greatly. We all know why we try to keep up with Bruce and Kim. They and their team implement our economic strategy and priorities, and this can best be summarized by three basic efforts. First, we literally, I mean literally, go to the ends of the earth to open new markets for our business community. Today, we're working with countries like China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Kenya, Iraq, Singapore, Taiwan, Russia, Peru, and a whole lot more. All of those countries, and regardless of where they are in the world, you will find that in Murrieta, that we are becoming very well known as the source for the American-made products that these countries need. Early in our international efforts, we discovered we need to enhance that strategy just a bit. Perhaps the economy worsened. We found that while we were getting pretty good at getting the attention of the international market for our American-made products, if those businesses didn't have the capital to expand, they couldn't do the deals. So our, our second effort became identifying new sources of financing. We did that for our local businesses, and whether it was through more the, the more traditional route or through the more creative, we continued to identify ways to connect with lower local businesses with the financing they need, the funds they need to expand, succeed, and create those coveted good jobs. We got in on top of our banks. We now have at least two regional centers for EB-5 financing, Continental USA Regional Center and American Redevelopment Solutions. We have a memorandum of understanding with Xiaoxing Province in China. We have multiple relationships with 
various angel investment groups and funds. And we are now part of the San Diego Innovation Hub. In Murrieta, we, we think we work globally, but we think globally. 